I knew this was their best product, and it confirmed it blind. <laughs> you got all kinds of discombobulated. I know. it. This one had me in a tizzy. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. And I am super excited about this <laughs> Pours Unknown because this puppy dark. Yeah. We draw these at random from our blind sample pool full of a bunch of bourbons and ryes, which we have no clue what they are. Nope. Most of which we've never even tried before. We're going to smell it, taste it, rate it. Okay. Then we're going to find out the price and see if that changes our ratings before we find out what we're drinking. We do it this way to give you the most honest opinions possible, separate apart from any labels or hype or bias. If that's your sort of thing, think about subscribing to the channel. Also, as Aaron gets into the notes, think about checking out the video description for a link to our Patreon. Over there, we do all kinds of stuff, including bonus content. That's where we release our barrel picks. You can get plugged into our Discord community where we help each other find bottles, trade samples, all kinds of good stuff over there. And yeah, it's just a generally great community to be a part of. Yeah. We do virtual tastings every month over there as well. All kinds of good stuff. And we're both wearing some of our oh, apparel, yeah. if you want to check that out, at stuffandwhiskey.com. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, all kinds of good stuff going down in the video description below. Is good stuff going down in this glass? I smell this, and I immediately thought Josh is going to love this. This smells like maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Pancakes and maple syrup with butter. And a little bit of bacon. And bacon, and I love it. We have said this before on something. What was it? Oh man, we get this on some things sometimes. But it, but specifically, we've said pancakes with bacon and maple syrup. Really, really well crafted and or well aged and or just generally really good brown forming products. Interesting. I'm not saying I think that's what it is. I don't want to think about. That's what we've historically said. Yeah. That if, nosing note on. If you do blind tastings. I cannot urge you enough or caution you enough to not try to think about what you're smelling or tasting. Don't try to guess. Even if it sounds familiar. Just yeah. take it in for what it is in the moment. Don't try to guess what it, what you think it might be because half the time he's wrong. Actually, more than half the time he's wrong. I, no, I stopped guessing a long time ago. Yeah, but when you first start, when we first started the channel, he'd be like, I yeah. think I might know what this is. And he stopped because he's always wrong. Yeah. And also it kind of just distorts your view. It is really interesting how I'm always wrong and you're always right. I mean, that's the man woman dynamic. Okay. All right. But yeah, don't, don't put yourself in that box. Cause as soon as I think this is Brown Foreman, I'm already labeling it and grading it and expecting yeah. all kinds of things because of that. That being said, don't do that. What we're smelling is delicious to us. It smells incredible. It smells like a big pancake yeah. bacon with butter breakfast. Now we do a thumbs rating over here. So, hope you like thumbs. Weird thing to say. Haven't okay. Didn't think that sentence was going to come out of my mouth today when I woke up. But if you do like thumbs, we do two thumbs up if we love it. Thumbs up if we like it. Just okay if we kind of take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean it's bad. But if it is bad, we're going to go thumbs down. Yeah. This is a two thumbs up nose. I hope the palate delivers. Sure. It's just all kinds. I mean, we've already said everything it is. Let's get it on the palate. Okay. So, the darkness maintains... I'm getting some dark fruits in here though too. Really? Not, not sweet fruits, but okay. like dark fruits like raspberries, maybe some cherries. There's a fruitiness that's kind of sweet, but not sugary, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm getting like Ooh. dark cherries. Coffee, coffee's coming through. Yeah, yep. Like dark cherry, like not dark cherry, <laughs> black cherry. Black cherry, Those are dark. brown sugar, like a nice, nice roasted coffee bean. Mm -hmm. This is really nice, gonna... at least on first sip. But I was a little taken aback, even on the palate. Like, it, I, I don't know that my brain was ready to process what it was. Yeah. Selfishly, I just need another sip. Yeah, I cleared my palate. I'm going to take another sip because I got heavy coffee flavor, which I liked, but I was not expecting it. So I let's am, do another. I am getting some astringency on the nose going back to it. Like, I just sniffed, and I thought my eye was going to pop out of my head because I got a oh, whole bunch of alcohol. That's extreme. Yeah. Okay. This is just really good. My first hit is like dark fruit, and then I'm getting some oakiness and then coffee beans. And I am in love with this. <laughs> I'm getting it a little bit opposite. Like I get hit with the coffee bean first, oh. then the dark fruit, and then it just kind of mellows out <clears throat> as much as I can say that this mellows out because it's this is high proof yeah, for sure. I think this is high proof as well. It, yeah. It's not high proof in the fact that it, it doesn't taste sharp. 
Hang on, real quick. I didn't. I realized I didn't finish my sentence. I said it mellows out, and then I tangented. I'm bad about that. Sorry. It mellows out into like this nice sweet oak. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, this is really good. Like I, I would say it's delicious. It, it's interesting because I tend to like sweet bourbon. You tend to like not so sweet bourbon or kind of a tempered rye. This kind of has a little bit of, for both of us. Yeah. It's kind of like the Goldilocks. We both tend to like very flavorful things. I tend to like a lot of proof and spice, whereas you tend to like it a little bit more balanced. Proof and balanced. I do yeah. like proof, but I yeah. like it balanced proof where it's not punching me in the face. Yeah. It, it literally is like a little bit of a Goldilocks pour here. I agree. I would like one more sip, even though I know my rating. We need another sip. I need another sip to get my rating. Okay. Man, the oak in this is like old in a good way. It's like weathered the storm. It's mature. It's, oh, mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. That's good. I like that a lot. It's not the best thing I've ever tasted. Mm. So if we're kind of gushing a little bit here, it seems like it's not the best thing I've ever tasted, mm. but it's really, really good. It's kind of right up my alley. I'm getting hit with like, I said medium roast, I think earlier, it's like going dark roast. The more I sip it, coffee. the more it's going like a dark roast coffee. Okay. So if you don't like dark roast coffee, you may not like this. I do tend to like that. I do like the lighter or medium roast coffee a little bit more. Oh my gosh, you're getting so lost in the weeds. It okay. doesn't matter. What's your rating? <laughs> two thumbs up. I love this. I'll give it a two thumbs up as well. I love it. If I hope it's not expensive. I hope I can find it. Probably not going to be the case. Yeah. All right. We're going to find out the price. We're both two okay. thumbs up. Yep. We're going to see if the price changes our rating. Okay. Before we find out what we're drinking. This okay. is number 81 in our sample pool. All righty then. Let's hope it's decently priced and not hard to find. All right. Number 81. Are you deliver it with an Australian accent like you just started? All right. It, I don't know how to do money. You just say words. It's 100. I can't do it. It's $100. Oh, yeah. I'll say two thumbs up on that. Yeah. it's yeah. That's a lot of money to me for whiskey. It is. But what I am tasting would be, I would pay $100 for that. This would be like my special bottle and I'd, I'd buy yeah. it for $100. Yeah. I mean, it to, to me, before we reveal what it is, I think like I've had Elijah Craig Barrel Proof batches that have been in this realm. Not a lot of them, but they've been in this realm. We've had some like Woodford batch proofs that have been in this realm. Like that's kind of where it's steering me to is like that type of flavor profile, that type of impact. It's really enjoyable. Really I, like it a lot. I like it. I'm, I'm gonna stay, are you staying two thumbs up? Mm -hmm. At a hundred dollars, I'll stay two thumbs up, but like 150, I'm going to one thumbs up. At 200, I would go to just okay. The caveat to be though, clear. is if we can find it. I feel like this is not something we're going to be able to find. If this is like a special release or something that we can't yeah. even, even find, I'm going to be I feel like that's so what mad. it is. That's why I just said the 150 and 200 thing. Because I want, it, it probably goes for well more than that on secondary, just because I know how that system works. Let's just find out what it is. Let's stop talking about yeah. it. Yeah, what is it? Oh, I think, I don't know much about whiskey, but I think we can find this. Say it. It's Michter's Toasted Barrel Rye. No, you can't find this. You can't find it? No. You can't? Nope. Miss Michter's? Nope. No. Why? This is the hardest product they have to find. But they do still make it. They make it, yeah. You got to be at the distillery and get lucky to get it. Or I don't even know how you get it if you're not at the distillery. Okay, this is 115.6 proof. so it Good is, grief. Yeah, it drinks every bit of that. It, it drinks its proof. I would have put this in the 120s. Yeah, because of the flavor. This is a rye? Yeah, and this is thanks to Bill and Delia Cavanaugh oh who sent goodness. us this. Um, I may have to go against every fiber of who I am and say we need to try to find this. Their toasted barrel rise. Does it say what year? No, it does not. Okay, I think it's a 2022. I'm almost sure it's a 2022. Okay. The 20, I think 18 or 17 is kind of lauded as the best of the bunch. I don't care but which one, <clears throat> but this is everything I want a drink to be. We've had the barrel proof rye. We've really liked it, but their toasted rye is their best mm. product. I, I think I am a fan of Michter's Rise. Oh, yeah. Michter's, their, Michter's their Rise, rise are have, good. have always been something I've really liked in Mi general. Michter's Rise in general. The 2023 10-year bourbon was spectacular. And then the, uh, the Fort Nelson Reserve, which is like the bottle your own experience. If you're there at the distillery mm. and you happen to be in Louisville at the day that they do that, 
and you're that lucky, we've never been that lucky, but if you get the Fort Nelson Reserve, their bourbon or their rye, straight out of the barrel into a bottle for you, that's a fantastic experience as well. I mean, it's $200 for that, but yeah, the ones we've tried have been amazing. We just haven't got one ourselves. But I'm going to have to commit this to memory as something I like. The Mictor's Toasted Barrel Rye is a special bottle. It's very for, good. For sure. It's very sure. good. So Rare Breed Bourbon, Mictor's Toasted Barrel Rye. That's all you need? I think those are my two. Those are my top uh, two. Non-chill filter Rare Breed. Non-chill filter you know Rare Breed Bourbon. She only wants an international duty-free only I mean, bourbon release and one of the hardest ryes to find but it's on the just, market. It's just two things. That's all I want. And then I'm a happy camper for you, the rest of my life. If you can help us get those, <laughs> email us at stuffandwhiskey.com. I don't even... That's what, all I need. That's not even our email address, stuffandwhiskey at gmail.com. What did you say? Stuffandwhiskey.com. You know what? I'm just discombobulated by this video. I know. Me too. It's it's a fantastic pour. It's... Yeah. If you're going to splurge on a Mictor's product, I think the Toasted Barrel Rye is their best product. I would splurge on it, and it that's just, saying something. It just so happens that the 2023 bourbon was really, really good. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, we had a bottle of 2020 that was trash. Straight up garbage water. Again, trash. that's why I said I have historically liked the Michter's Rise. Yeah. And even the 10-year Rise aren't that great. They can be pretty herbal, but they're cash, like they're cash drink dry, and they're toasted dry, and their toasted rye is the best thing to make. Anyways... If you think this is the best, wait. Um, <laughs> You've got a real decision. I'm sorry. Hang on. <laughs> You've gone off the rails. Their toasted rye is the best thing they make. I'm trying to keep it um, together, and I cannot do this alone. <laughs> toast toast make. Um, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Going on my soliloquy about Mictors. If you want to go down to the video description below, and wait. <laughs> Oh my Hello. gosh, what is happening? Oh, I don't know. All right, we're off the rails. Let's get it back on track. Go okay. down, go down there. Like the video if you liked it. Go, Subscribe to the go channel. Down where? Down there. Okay. Yeah, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe oh if you Lord. like blind tastings, honest reactions to videos. Uh -huh. That's what we do over here. Hit that bell down there if you want to join us on a live stream. We do those once a month. We would love for you to join us for a pour. We have a lot of fun over there as well, just we like do. we did in this video. I think that's it. Yeah. yeah, that's it for today. Be good yeah. to each other. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.